Welcome back to another edition of Tech in 10 with your AXI PD team. Today we are going to discuss something that has been around a few years, but you may or may not have heard of it. Designed by teachers for teachers, ClassFlow is a cloud-based lesson delivery software with advanced collaboration tools for student engagement. Basically, it's something pretty neat that is actually by Promethean, just like the interactive software you already know and love, Active Inspire. Classflow.com is a website, which means it can be used anywhere and on any device that has a web browser. With Classflow, teachers can present engaging content as well as send out quizzes, polls, and activities to student devices, even on laptops, Chromebooks, smartphones, and tablets. Teachers can also save time by using ready-made activities and lessons from the Classflow marketplace. Now, enough of this chit chat, let's jump on in. If you have never heard of Classflow or never set up an account, it's super simple to do. Just click login and you can sign right in as a teacher with either your Google or Microsoft accounts. So first thing I would like to discuss is on this home page right here, you can actually click on classes and let's start up a class together. If I click on new, you will see right here that I can actually import from Google Classroom. So this will save you tons of time. I can also click add a class to create a class from scratch. Now don't worry, if you add a class without using your existing roster, your students will be able to join by using a special code. So let's start by looking at this homepage. You will notice a few quick start buttons across the screen. If I click on the instant whiteboard button, it will open a blank page with tools that may look very familiar to you. Classflow was actually based quite a bit off of Active Inspire. So some of these tools at the bottom will work the same as they do in their amazing software. So for instance, you have the ability to write, include text boxes, shape tools, and you even have this little briefcase that has tools that are kind of probably familiar to you, such as the math tools from Active Inspire, as well as the revealer tool. This toggle carousel at the bottom will allow you to see pages of your lesson as they populate just like they did in your flip chart. Now, at the top right, you will see a box that says open class, and it has a special code. If you don't already have a class set up, this is how you could go ahead to present to anyone. All you need to do is click connect your students and give them the prompts that are on the screen. So now let's take it a step further, and I'm going to add a card and I am now going to write a sentence. After that, I'm going to label, let me pick another color, and this is going to be A, B, C, and D. And what I want the students to look for is which letter is the verb. So I'm going to come over here to the right and I can do one of two things. If I click this button right here with the arrow, it will send them my card just as they see it here. So we could have a discussion openly about it. The next thing is this other button, the second one right here, this will actually send them a quick poll. So what's gonna happen here is I have um, a bunch of different choices. So I'm gonna click multiple choice and I have options A through D and I'm going to click start poll. Now on the student's end, they would actually get a picture of the card itself that I was working on as well as options A through D at the bottom to choose. And as their answers come in, they will populate in a graph right here. This makes it super easy to check for understanding in the middle of your lessons. Now let's take a look at those quick poll types because I think they have some really neat ones in there. 
So word seed allows the students to type a word and all of their answers will populate all over the screen. So for instance, I could ask my students to give me all of the adjectives that describe a particular character that we are reading about. Their answers would populate and similar answers would be automatically grouped together. They also have a text and number answer as well as multiple choice, which we just did. And then true, false, yes, no, and even a scale poll. Now my favorite one is the creative poll. Absolutely. This gives the students a picture of your lesson card along with a toolbar so that they can actually annotate on or manipulate the items you have placed on the card for them. You will definitely want to check these out. So let's exit and head back to the home page. And now I want to go check out the Create Activity button. If you watched our Tech and 10 on Active Inspire, this part will look super familiar. They actually brought this piece from Classflow into the new updated Active Inspire. But if not, let's take a quick peek into this awesome feature. Activities is a way to create self-correcting games for your students to do on their own or even on your border panel when they return to your physical classroom. You can create an activity based on the following activity types. So you have categorize, crossword, flashcards, label diagram, matching, memory game, sequencing, timeline, Venn diagram, and even a word search. I told you this was awesome. So let's create a quick activity so you can see how this works. So let's create a categorize activity. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to label my first category adjectives and I'm going to list three examples. So big, shiny, and yellow. My second category, I'm going to label as adverbs and I'm going to list the three examples there. So I'm gonna put quietly, carefully, and tomorrow. After that, I will select a quick library image. Let's do this one right here. And then I am ready to preview for my students. You will notice when I click Let's Play, if I drag, so if I take, let's see, tomorrow right here, I know that it's an adverb, but if I take and drop it under adjectives, it's going to bounce back to the word bank. And you'll notice down here that it marks it as my first incorrect option. But if I take tomorrow and I add, add it over here to adverbs, it's now gonna mark it as correct. And it also will time it for me also. So let's go back here. And when I'm ready, I can click deliver. And so what this is going to do is it's going to drop that activity into one of my lesson cards. So this looks familiar where I was a while ago. And then from here, I can send this straight out to my students so that they can play on their devices as well. Isn't that cute? I could really spend quite some time showing you everything about Classflow. But the last thing that I wanna talk about in this quick video is the marketplace. This is where you can find already made lessons, activities, and quizzes created by teachers for teachers. There are also 3D models like this heart and lungs and human eye right here. Also, you will find simulations which allow your students to explore and actually manipulate in order to understand a concept. So if I clicked this one about states of matter, right here, I can preview it on the left-hand side, or I can click deliver and choose my class to deliver it to. It's that simple. We hope this sparked your interest and that you will go check out classflow.com, which is powered by Promethean. It is just another tool to add to your toolbox for both your physical classroom as well as through this distance learning. As always, feel free to reach out to any of us if you have questions or if we can help you out. We hope you have a great week and stay safe.